Right, so what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to create something that will be for when you want, when you reach the sort of end destination of the game or of a level or something like that. Okay, what we're going to do is like um, do it for when you reach the end of uh, the game. Okay, and it's going to give us like a uh, a widget that sort of gives you some final scores or final times or um, just a screen, you know, whatever you want it to be, um, you can customize that yourself. So the first thing we want to do um, is in our blueprints, we're going to create a new blueprint class. Um, yeah, sorry, I want it to be an actor. Okay, so it's not really doing anything. This is just the, the location point. Okay. Um, Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it end game. Okay. Um, and again, this is where you might want to bring in your own uh, mod model, your own mesh. So it could be, I don't know, a final like archway or a little portal or I don't know, depending on what the theme of your game is. Um, I'm just doing basics. So I'm just going to bring in a cube and I want it to be something that the player has to stand onto. So I'm going to reduce the Z scale down so it's like just a little platform. Um, maybe make it a bit bigger. Okay, um, and obviously you could put a material onto it if you wanted to. Um, what could we put on it? Just chuck on a. Oh, what do you know? Uh, oh yeah, one of these kind of funky ones. Okay, that'll do. So I'll compile that. Um, and I'm going to go into the uh, event graph, delete all that stuff. Uh, sorry, before we do that, um, we want to add a collision box. Okay, so collision box. Uh, that collision box is... I'll just bring it up so you can see it. Um, too small at the moment. Well, it's just the area that basically you want your character to run into to complete the game. Maybe we do want him to jump onto this box first and then um, collide with something. So that'll be fine. Let me make it a bit higher. Um, okay, there's that. So when he collides with that, um, he'll complete the game. So go to Event Graph, select the collision box you had. Standard one for collision that we've been using, so add on component begin overlap. Um, and then, well, if you, did, if you just did it like that on component begin overlap, um, what you could do, there's lots of things you could do. You could just go to open level, okay, and all that would do is when you um, collide with that, it will take you to another level. And just type in the name of the level here if you wanted to have another level. Okay, if you wanted it to display um, a widget, like an end game screen or something, then you would have it to create a, a widget. Let's type in widget. Okay, and then you'd put in the widget you want here. I haven't made one yet. And then add a viewport as we've done before. Okay, um, but we don't have a widget yet, so that's going to give me errors. So if I make a, a real basic one to get us started, so user interface, widget, end game, widget. Oh, I named that wrong. Don't like things being named wrong. There we go. Um, so, I mean, oh, you could create an image in something like Photoshop and have it as the background. Um, whatever you want, really. Um, I'm just going to add in a text, not a text box, some text for now that just says um, you win. Um, get a yellow or something, make it much bigger. 
Okay, something along those lines. Um, anchor it to the middle. Make it be. Anyway, you can play around with that. I won't spend too long doing that, but whatever you want it to say up here. So first of all, we just want to make sure it's going to display this before we do any editing. So let's compile that. Let's lower that for now. Go back to my end game blueprint and change that to end game widget. Okay, so now I compile that and there's no errors. Um, and then put the end game platform in our game. Um, doesn't really matter for now, I'll just put it over here somewhere. Okay, so it's got this little platform that, you know, when our character gets there, he's won the game. It's probably the easiest game ever at the moment, but we run over here and then you win. Okay, but the game's still going in the background. We don't want that to happen. So, um, once it's added the widget, what we want to do put a short little delay on, 0.2 is fine, and then uh, lots of things we could do, I'm just going to pause the game for now, okay, so test it again, run over here, okay, so pauses the game, um, and shows the screen, so obviously if we just pause the game, and do it like that, our widget only says you win because that's all we've got on the widget. If we had that as a background image as well, you wouldn't see the game in the background. It just depends on personal preference on what you want. Okay, but I'm going to leave it as that for now because you guys can do your own thing. Um, but what you also might want to do, because you know we've got this timer here and we've got a point collection system. Okay, so I've got two coins and 12 seconds remaining. 11 seconds remaining. What I might want to do is say, okay, well, the challenge of the game might be to get the most coins you can or to, to get the best time, something like that. And you might want that actually displayed on the end game screen. So we're going to do that together, basically. Um, well, this video is already seven minutes, so we'll see how far we can get. Um, so I'm going to go back to my end game widget. And I'm going to bring in some text. Uh, actually, no. Vertical box. Let's keep it neat. Text block here, which is going to say um, uh, score or final score. Might make more sense. Final score. Um, make it a bit bigger, and then we need another text block. Why have I done a vertical box? I'm going crazy. <laughs> yeah, we want a horizontal box. We're not going vertically. Horizontal box. In some text, final score, maybe for now, and another text block next to it, because um, that is what we're going to um, bind to something that's going to display the final score. Okay, um, so that'll be fine. Then I'll bring in another vertical box underneath here. Same size, some text, that's going to say, um, say time remaining, um, so it'll give us a, uh, have I done vertical box again? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, a horizontal box. Text. Time remaining. So I'm kind of making this one up as I go along, so 
lots of errors. Um, and then that's change it to that for now. Okay, so what we're going to have is uh, a U win screen, and something's going to give us our final score and how much time we had remaining. Okay, and then the aim of the game in this instance, let's say, is going to be to finish with the best score and the um, I suppose the highest amount of time remaining. Um, lots of other things you could do with this same system um, in terms of displaying your final kind of whatever the variable is, or, you know, on this screen. So, but you can use this system to do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to pause it there and now do um, just a second part um, where we'll bind these to actually display a result. Because just to show you, if you compile that at the moment, um, when we end the game, it will just say 000, which you typed in. So we'll bind those to a bit of blueprint code that will put in a natural amount there. Okay.